Hey YouTube, it's um, Wednesday the 14th of January and it's uh, 20 past 12 and as you can see uh, the van's frosted up so I'm going to have to just defrost this before setting off so my first job is in Melton at the Bowls Club and again I'm going to be doing block paving Looking enough that's uh, thawed out in the day so it's come off easy let's get to Melton so it's now um, 20 to 1 and I've arrived at Melton Bowls Club there's the old bays so I don't have to search for that each time I need to take waste away so yeah I'm going to leave three hours Scraping block paving, probably blown a few bits, a uh, few pebbles, you can see a few there, back onto the uh, car park and just keep things generally tidy. Uh
Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed that GoPro mount action. Train. I'm just going to blow the small bits up now and get this pile of muck in my tub. Okay, so it's now um, 20 past 3. So I've got about 20 minutes left. Um, I'm just going to go around with the blower to blow the uh, pebbles off the car park area back onto the gravelled areas. And I just thought I'd show you a little bit of snowfall ahead. Not an awful lot, but some interesting, I suppose. So, yep, that's the snow. Uh, it's here and there, it's not all over the place. Uh, we had a tiny bit in Sighton, but uh, nothing to. Uh, shout about. So I just got to show you that. Not much there, but still snow just shows you how cold it is at the minute. Just pulled a few brambles out here and there. And you might recognise this from the video. This is the area I did last week. And that's the waste. I've got to try and burn that at some point. Uh, but it looks like that's mulching down now, so that should help. All these uh, reed areas I've got to try and do at some point. Just picking up some litter as I go. Do you wish people would be, would be tidy? I've picked up quite a few fag cigarette butts. Uh, I tend to chop those all over the place. So yeah, I'm just picking up litter now. Just try and make the place look that little bit tidier, more presentable. It's surprising how much waste gets dropped. This is, this is an area I've got to try and sort out at some point. I'll just um, Trim those down and let them rot out. Okay, so I thought I'd just show you um, the amount of rubbish I'm picking up. It's absolutely disgusting just what people will throw away. I mean, I've still not got it all now. There's still some in the hedgerows. I just have to get it out next visit. I've run out of time now, so yeah. But there's, there's a full full can of polypillar there, there's like a stud voltage metal tester there. Unbelievable what they throw away. Obviously it's uh, mainly uh, the lorry driver is parking up by the side of the road, uh, chucking the stuff out the windows I guess. Uh, I just don't understand how hard it is to take things away. <laughs> um, there's even some that's been bagged up, tied up and chucked out. Take the time and effort to do that and just take it away with you for a bit. So yeah, that's my little little moan for the day. Hey YouTube, it's um, Thursday the 15th of January and I'm out again today. I'm in Melton for three hours this morning and then up Broughton for three hours and then over to Roadley for about an hour and a half, two hours. Uh, so now I've just gone past half past seven. Uh, it's been quite windy through the night, it's calmed down now, uh, but they say it's due back uh, throughout the day. Um, some high winds and some wintry showers, so not going to be the most pleasant of days. So I'm off to the vets in Melton now just to do a quick tidy up and then a, a commercial property just down the road from there. So I may or may not do some footage, um, so I'll see you soon. So it's now eight o'clock and I'm in Melton at the Vets. Um, it took me a bit longer than I wanted to. Um, I got stuck behind some traffic. Uh, took a detour, which I thought would be a little bit faster, uh, but then got stuck behind a, a works um, tipper. So, as usual, there's not an awful lot to do. Just leaves, which you can see up on this area. 
I'll probably just sweep all those up first and then get those bagged up. Someone's lost a pair of sunglasses. They're long gone. Uh, no weeds coming up yet, it is still January. Uh, the one or two that are there are there. I just did um I won't well I won't even bother spraying those because it'll get rained off today. So yeah, I'm gonna crack on and I'll see you soon. Okay, so a quick update. Um it's now quarter past eight and um I've actually been to the Melton Bowls Club and back because I just realised I hadn't put me uh my wolf garden patio tool in the back and handle. Now I've been back, it's not there, it's been either taken in or pinched. So uh, well, luckily enough I've got another handle at home, but I don't really need it today. Um, I was just going to brush up those bits. I'll just do it with a little hand brush. So yeah, that's my update. 25 past 8 and I've swept the concrete area. And I've improvised with a brush. Shorter handle, a back aches, but I've got the job done. And more litter. So it's about uh, 5 past 11. I'm on this job till quarter past. Um, I'm about finished, um, this is just a load of waste I've been picking up from the bed. This is all um, sticks from the clematis climber. I'm uh, just having a cup of tea. So I've washed all the, bushed and washed all the decking down. That was full of clematis leaves, etc. And there was a lot of uh, slate that I've cleared up. This was all full of leaves and clematis sticks. You can still do a few under there. But that's how all of this was. I used my vacuum on it and that's cleared that up. I've been clearing the beds of uh, leaves and sticks as best I can. I've not wanted to walk on the lawn because it's sodden. Um, that's going to need reseeding. It's just got a. Well, it's aerating really, it's got a drainage problem. Sticks are on there, the customers put on those on there to try and keep the cut off. Now, this is a, a bird table that I built catch the food off the feeders. It's going to need a hole drilling in the corner. It's a bit uh, flooded there. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you that. One of the gardens I do. Okay, it's now 11.30 and I'm at my next job. <coughs> and this is in Upper Broughton. And um, I've contacted the customer already and they're uh, looking to have me take out some uh, hawthorn hedge. Uh, so I've got all my hedge cutters and trimmers and saws and things on the van. Uh, this is there for three hours so I'll be done at half twelve, one, half past two. And then I've got next job in Rothley, um, uh, hopefully about three o'clock. Okay YouTube, uh, I've been asked to work on this area today. Uh, just basically cutting out a bit of hedge. Uh, he wants that one there topping and all the brambles getting out so he can plant some more hedge in. Uh, so I'll show you the end result. Uh, there's some friends, some alpacas for today. Yeah, I'm just going to use the hedge, still hedge cutters and loppers and things and try and get those out. It's now two o'clock and I've cleared most of it away. I've just got to put back uh, the fence so the alpacas don't get in the garden and then tidy up this area here. Just rake that off. I've got some more new friends, some chickens, and looking over there, it's very black, so I think I've escaped the rain today. Looks like that's heading towards Melton. YouTube, it's um, Friday the 16th of January. I'm just demisting the van before my uh, first job in Switzerland. Uh, it's my only job today, it's for four hours, um, so I'm going to take in my Hay to Harrier mower for its first service to WLM mowers uh, just to get that sorted for the next season and keep it in warranty. Okay, so it's uh, quarter past nine and I've been at the job for 45 minutes, got my cup of coffee which is nice and uh, the job of the day is taking out uh, the old compost. I've taken off all the wooden battens just to get access and this has been spread 
on the borders against the fence over there. So this will probably take, probably take a good uh, few hours to do this, two or three hours. There's quite a lot there, it's quite dense. And then that uh, compost will be ready for the grass and things for this season. It's now half past the, sorry, 11 o'clock. Um, sorry, half past 10. <laughs> and I've got uh, an hour and a half left. And as you can see, uh, I've been making progress on the compost heap. Uh, it's quite dense, so it's been quite hard work. Uh, back's aching a little bit. Uh, but I'm getting there. Uh, once that's all out, I'll be putting the panels back on. Uh, but I've just been brought my uh, second round of refreshments. Uh, another coffee and some biscuits. Which is nice. Let's uh, bring my energy levels back up. And I've got down to uh, about three quarters of the board now, so this will just be enough to finish that off. I'm going to enjoy my coffee. It's now 20 past 11, so I've got just over an hour left. And I've now cleared the compost heap. Very mucky job, uh, but a job worth doing. Uh, we'll just have to uh, repolythene that up for this season. I'm just going to get the batons back on. Finished my coffee and biscuits. A bit of bad news though, I uh, dropped my last biscuit in the compost heap. So that's now. I crumbled, I crumbled that up. That's now going to contribute to next, next year's uh, compost. So I'm just going to get these back on, try and uh, sweep up a bit, and then blow, blow off the border where I've been, all the way down there on the left just to define the border and lawn again and then see what time it is and head to the mower service shop so I just want to show you a quick something a sign of a good compost heap are these guys here uh, they're called blood worms or at least I believe they're called blood worms they obviously help break down the compost little baby one there and you'd be surprised at how many of these you get in a compost compost heap. Obviously most of those have got now gone to the gardens that help the borders as well. So that's the uh, border blown off. Just to kick back to you a bit, falling them, falling uh, back onto the lawn. Uh, just to smarten things up and get things tidy. So this is the border. I'm all the way from the top, all the way to the bottom. And as you can see, fairly thick layer. Uh, but all the plants are still exposed. There's a lot of daylilies under here. Uh, they're daylilies, they'll come straight up through the, the mulch, no problem. And this will actually help um, kill off some of the annual we weeds as well. Just a few there, miss. So that'll benefit all the shrubs, give them uh, some good nutrients, and retain the moisture in the soil as well. That's an old, I think it's bare, bare breaches I need to cut down and get in the compost heap. So I've got about half an hour left now. 
Uh, so I'm just gonna go around and see if there's anything that needs uh, cutting back. This is quite a nice little area. It's got some uh, camellias, etc. in there. These should pretty much be coming out in bud now. Yeah, there's some buds on there. Old winter jasmine is about over. Under there, some rat bait. Been having problems with some rats. Some nice winter colour there on the berries. This is an area I cleared out the other week. Just going to have some gravel put down there. A few more leaves are back already. And I've cut this ivy back quite a few times from the neighbour's hedge. Down here is where the lily of the valley usually come up. Old clematis there that I'm going to have to prune down at the end of February. You can see that's in bud. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for this job. As I say, I'm taking a mower in straight after here. So I'll see you soon. I forgot to mention um, that this morning I found my weed tool and handle, so that was a relief. Um, this is worth, um, well the handle alone is around £10. I know the, uh, the weed tools seen better days, uh, but I'll get a good few more hours use out of that one. So I shouldn't have to go to Wiredale and buy another one of those, that's good. It was hidden down here underneath the tarpaulin. That's the mower I'm taking in for the service. Hey to Harrier 48. I bought it last year from WLM Mowers near Melton. And it's a 650 series EX190cc. And it's got the Eco Plus emissions reducing technology. It's a Briggs and Stratton engine. Um, I've had a couple of problems. Well, one problem with it. Um, I've been cutting a lawn, for example, the one there. And after finishing that one, Obviously st stopping the engine, taking it round to the back um, and trying to start again, it just wouldn't start. I would um, have to leave it for like 10 minutes after cutting the first lawn before it would start again. So I'm not sure what problem that is, but I'll mention it to the, the guys uh, for the service. Hopefully they'll get it, give it a good clean. I don't get an awful lot of time to clean, as you can tell. I'm out working all the time. Yep, yeah, I need a bigger van, I know that. <laughs> this is how things get broken. But I'm currently saving for one of those, so that's, that's all good.